Hey everyone, in this video I want to cover how to create notifications, schedules and groups in the Total Connect 2.0 website. The same features and functionality shown in this video are also available in the Total Connect 2.0 iOS and Android apps. Once you are logged into your Total Connect 2.0 account and on the security page, you can access the notification settings by clicking the notification drop down in the menu on the left. This menu expands to provide a list of options. First, let's look at Schedules. After clicking Schedules, you'll be taken to the page where you can view or edit current schedules, as well as create new schedules. To create a new schedule, click on the Add Schedule icon in the top right. A window will pop up where you can name your schedule, choose the days the schedule will be active, and set the start and end time for your schedule. Once finished, click Create. Once created, you will be taken back to your schedule list. Let's look at Groups next. Click Groups under the Expanded Notifications menu. You will be taken to a page where you can view or edit current groups, as well as create new groups. There will be a default group in this list already. To add a new group, click on the Add Group icon in the top right. A window will pop up and step through creating a group. You will want to give each group an identifying name. Next, select which users will be in this group. If you attach this group to a notification, only those users will receive that notification. When done, click Create Group. Once created, you'll be taken to where you can edit the group. If no changes are needed, click Cancel or switch to another page. Lastly, let's look at our notifications. Click List under the Expanded Notifications menu and you will be taken to a page where you can view or edit current notifications as well as create new notifications. In the list of notifications, you will see the name of the notification, which group they are being sent to, if they are attached to any schedule, and an option to enable or disable the notification. You can use the filter in the top right to narrow down your search. To create a new notification, click the Add Notification icon in the top right. A window will pop up and step through creating a notification. For the purpose of this video, we will create a few security notifications. Next, choose the type of notification. I chose Army. Here you can give a more detailed name to the notification if you wish and select which panel events will trigger the notification. I chose all three to know if the panel was armed away, armed stay or disarmed. If your panel has multiple partitions, choose which partitions you want a notification for. Select whether this notification will always run or be attached to a schedule. You can also create or edit schedules here. Assign one of your notification groups next. As we saw in the previous page for schedules, you can create or edit groups here. Once complete, click Save. You'll be taken back to your notification list. You will see that I now have three new notifications. One for armed away, one for armed stay, and one for disarmed. If you click on a notification's name, you can edit that notification. Before we wrap up this video, I want to show you one last thing. With Total Connect 2.0, plus in premium accounts, you have the option for sensor open, sensor closed, and sensor left open notifications. These will allow you to receive a special notification if a specific sensor is activated if the security panel is disarmed. When adding a notification, choose sensor open, close for the type of notification. Choose the trigger type next. For the purpose of this video, I chose sensor left open with a delay time of 3 minutes. If you have a Total Connect 2.0 compatible thermostat linked to the account, you can also adjust the cool set point based upon its condition. Choose which sensor or sensors you want to trigger the notification. 
As before, select your schedule or panel state and the group. The notification is complete and will send if the front door sensor is left open for more than three minutes and also adjust the cool set point of your thermostat by five degrees. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching.